planning to buy a Tesla, but electric vehicles may soon be zooming up your house. Ohio County schools are now testing out an all-electric school bus to see how they handle on our country roads. 7 News reporter Colin Roos hopped on for a test drive and is live to show us what it's like. Colin. Steve, it's a vehicle that Miss Frizzle would be proud of. My ride on the electric school bus was smooth and very quiet through downtown Wheeling this afternoon. Ohio County is part of a pilot program to see how these buses perform in the cold, in the rain, and especially how they get up hills. Gazing out the window, the smell of diesel exhaust, and the brakes creaking with every stop. Just about everyone who's commuted to school knows what it's like to ride a school bus. But a company called Green Power is ready to rethink that ride of passage in West Virginia. Their new electric school buses are out for a test run in Ohio, Clay, Monongalia, and Grant counties. So get ready to see this beast pull up to the bus stop. It's a comfortable bus. It's a smoother ride. Green Power's beast bus is completely battery powered and is in a rectangular shape like a transit bus. It's six inches wider than the majority of buses and can fit up to 90 people. And best of all, there's no fumes at a time when students' lungs are still developing. They won't smell the uh, NOx emissions and diesel smog in the bus because actually people think about the outside air. The outside air is cleaner than the air that's inside that bus. Now you may think a larger bus like this would be more difficult to drive, but Ohio County School says that isn't the case. It turns easier and it's so quiet that at lower speeds it makes trolley sounds so that pedestrians can hear it. This experiment is cost free to taxpayers and is valuable to districts and the company itself. Schools can see what adjustments need to be made for an electric future, while parents can get rid of their jitters for the new contraption driving their children around. People get scared when they see a great big vehicle like this that's all electric and it's something new and something I've never done before. Gosh, that can't go down my road. That can't cross my railroad track. I don't know how to deal with this. I can tell you all day long that'll cross the road, that'll cross the railroad track. So get ready. School transportation will soon mean less pumps and more battery packs. Green Power will be manufacturing their vehicles in Charleston. Delegate Erica Storch tells us the legislature has worked to convince technology companies to set up shop in the Mountain State. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thank you, Colin. Well.